Hi Year 13, I'm going to be making some videos just to help you out with the rest of the mechanics course. Uh, you might have seen that um, to receive an, an accurate predicted grade this year, um, we are going to be getting to the end of the course, just so you've got that extra little bit to, um, to look at and that everything's completed in terms of content. So to help you with the work I'm going to set uh, while you're away, um, rather than just give you the, this PowerPoint, which I think is uh, quite a good one, and it's got lots of detail in it, um, I'm going to talk through it just so that you um, have got all the details there and everything's kind of clear uh, in case there's anything that you don't get. So we're going to start with moments, that's the first topic. Um, and we need to obviously uh, start with a definition of one. So based on our previous learning, um, up until now, um, we've been doing forces a little bit like this, um, with multiple forces acting on a particle. And we've done resolving in various directions. Um, we looks like we want to be resolving either horizontally or vertically. And there's five newtons. If we know the angle that we're um, pulling this particle at, we can get the horizontal and vertical uh, components. Um, moments is a little bit different. Moments is about um, turning forces. So rather than just pushing and pulling a particle, we're looking at a force that creates a turning effect. So rather than a particle, we've got a rod, which we sometimes call a lamina. And we're going to um, fix it at a point that we call the pivot point. So it's basically like a nail that's driving a shelf into a wall. You can think of it like that. Then we're going to apply a force onto the lamina. And if we were to put our force directly into the middle, um, there's obviously going to be no, no turning effect because all that force is going into the pivot that's not going to make it move. But if you move the force um, to the left and to the right, then you're obviously then going to get a, a, a rotation force. So there you go. If I put it there, it's then suddenly going to move around. Then if I replace the force with a greater force, if I increase my six newtons, there's obviously going to be a greater turning effect. It's going to turn faster. And then if I move my um, force further away from the pivot, that's also going to increase the turning effect. It's going to move faster as well. So right on the end there, it's obviously going to go faster. OK, a bit like when you're pushing a door open. If you push close to the hinge, it takes more force to get it open. If you push uh, towards the edge of the door, then it's going to be a lot easier. OK, so we need a way of measuring this. Uh, the, the effect that we get when we rotate is called a moment. And it depends on two things. It depends on the two things that I just talked about. It's how, um, how big your force is, the magnitude of the force, and also the, this distance that you um, apply your force from the pivot point. And we're measuring that distance um, at a perpendicular angle, as we're going to see. So here's the formula. There you go. At the moment, it's the force, and it's the product of the force with the perpendicular distance. Okay. And the units that we use, because force is in newtons, and because distance is in meters, at least for the standard units, then our moment units are going to be measured in newton meters. OK, that's the standard unit we're going to use for a moment. So let's see an example of one. So here's our lamina. I'm going to apply a force of five newtons. And to measure the moment, I need the distance that's perpendicular from the point. That's going to be three meters. And so using our formula, the moment about C, that's what we're going to write down. Uh, it's five newtons is the force. Three meters is the distance. So 15 newton meters. However, when you do a moment, you have to specify the direction of your rotation. And if I were to continue this uh, movement, it's going to rotate around this way, which is clockwise. So we need to add the direction as well. OK, there you go. Measure, measure the Newton meters with a direction as well. Okay. Sometimes things are drawn a bit more abstractly. Um, you've got the pivot point over here. This is F. You might want to um, pretend that this is attached to a force that's uh, acting this way, at four newtons, two meters away at a perpendicular angle. The moment's going to be four times two. That's eight newton meters. But this time, because we're rotating, rotating around this way, it's going to be anti-clockwise. Um, for this one, um, the force is applied at an angle. The distance we've got is um, four meters at that angle of 30 degrees. If you want the perpendicular distance, which is what you need for the moment, then you need to draw a triangle, fill in the perpendicular distance, which is what we want from the pivot to the force. And with a bit of trigonometry, like we've done before, you can get that distance. Four times sine 30, 
sine 30 is a half, so that's going to be 2. And then the moment about A, well, it's 9 newtons. The perpendicular distance is 4 sine 30, which is 2, so 18 newton metres. And the direction is anti-clockwise, like the last one.